water, it's found everywhere on earth, from polar ice caps and vast oceans to the mighty rivers and tiny streams. Every living thing upon the earth depends on clean water, and wherever water flows on this planet, you can be sure to find life. The Urban Waters Federal Partnership Program to restore communities to their urban rivers and creeks by coordinating federal agencies and community-led efforts to revitalize and improve the health of our rivers, creeks, and streams. Kansas City is one of 19 sites in the United States designated an urban waters location, and they are working to restore and protect the Blue River. From the headwaters near the Missouri-Kansas state line to its confluence with the Missouri River, the Blue River meanders north through Kansas City for more than 40 miles. For decades, the river and surrounding neighborhoods have suffered from frequent and serious flooding, degraded water quality, loss of habitat from channelization, economic disinvestment, blight, and lack of public awareness. Yet, the area is rich with culture, beauty, recreation, and offers potential for a resilient and healthy future. The Blue River Urban Waters partners at all levels are making a difference. They are engaging communities and connecting all people to the river, recognizing that the river serves a diverse community. Federal partners, state partners, and local partners are restoring areas along Blue River near Brush Creek and at the municipal farm. They are restoring wetlands at Alex George Park, removing trash along Blue River Road, and planting trees throughout the watershed. To help plant trees, we're hoping to plant maybe 500 to 1,000 seedlings today. They're all um, bottomland trees that were originally, would have originally grown along the Blue River. And um, so this is an effort to restore some of the Blue River. It's super important to keep rivers clean because in Kansas City, one, we love wildlife and we love our beautiful wild lands. But two, every single river in Kansas City leads to the Missouri River, which is our drinking water source and the drinking water source for millions of other people. The future generations, I mean, that's who we're handing stuff off to and connecting them early on is a big part of it. Plus just connecting myself. So it's a win-win for me and hopefully for a few others. And leading by example is a big part of it and exposing other people that don't see all this stuff or don't understand it. And it would just be a shame to take a place that was not once a farm to return it back to it and just make it a place where people can enjoy it and not look at it as an eyesore and look at it as a beautiful place, as a beautiful kind of gateway into the east side and west sides. It really thrills me to think eventually the Katy Trail will be here and we'll be servicing all kinds of bike riders wanting to come out and check out a new landscape and try some new foods. I think we need to continue with the implementation of our, our restoration efforts, but also engage the community, engage the citizens of Kansas City and really let them know what they have in their backyard and that it's something that they need to value for what it's worth. When we engage with nature to revitalize our environment, we also revitalize ourselves. We need your help. Join the many organizations and volunteers working to create trails, restore native natural areas, and revitalize the Kansas City neighborhoods. This is where we work, where we play, where we live. Act now. This is so important.